just to say it, we love virtual reality. For us, it's not just a technology, it's not just another screen, it's something that we believe is gonna be important. Because unlike anything else we've seen, it can put you someplace else, it's transporting. Uh, with yep. VR, you can put on some goggles and feel viscerally like you're in another world. It's richer, it's far more immersive, and we believe it will impact how we explore, how we work, how we play, individual how we learn. To capture our vision for what the Google Assistant is, we put together a short video, and so let's take a look. And goal is to make that technology simpler, when we started, friendlier, we and more accessible. For everyone. And we've been hard at work so doing just that with Daydream, our platform for high Between quality our users and Google. virtual reality. Now, Daydream so, ties together a bunch of things that you need for great VR. Software optimizations, specs for phones, headsets, and controllers, and then the apps and experiences themselves. All of this in service of creating a healthy VR ecosystem with our partners and with developers. If you remember, our vision today, for the Google Assistant all these is to be universal. Let's start to with be phones. there everywhere so the user You just heard about the new Pixel phones, and they Which are great phones. Today we are going to bring and the as Sabrina said, we've surfaces. made them great for VR, one, too. in the context of the phone, which you always carry with you. their sensors their displays. And one, and the Pixel phones, in the context which are the first, phone. which are daydream ready. To talk about the Google Assistant. Now, of course, you need some extra hardware to unlock the phone's VR capabilities. So let's talk about the VR headset. Now the headset is important to get right. When we started, I mean, after we all, it's something that you wear on your head. So that everyone. But we looked out there and we saw some problems. We saw issues with comfort. We saw <laughs> stuff that's pretty hard when to we use, started, pretty complicated. We made this. And everything just kind of looked one, the same. In the context of the phone, so we looked which at all you always this carry and we with had you. some ideas, and, and we have one, a bit in of the a different take of on the VR headset. And so, I'd like to introduce you to Daydream View. It's the first Daydream Ready VR headset. Now, if you're into VR, I'll just say that the specs are there. It has a nice field of view. And with the Daydream phone, low latency and really accurate head tracking. But we didn't just look at the specs. We obsessed over the details of the design. We wanted to make something that's comfortable and really easy to use. And we also thought about how you could make it your own. So first, let's talk about comfort, how it feels, how it fits. Well, you'll notice immediately that it doesn't quite look like other VR headsets. And that's because in designing it, we weren't inspired by gadgets. We looked at what do people actually wear? We wear stuff that's soft, stuff that's flexible and breathable. And so we crafted our headset out of that same comfortable stuff. Fabrics, soft microfiber, and other materials that you'd, you'd find in clothing and athletic wear. In fact, we worked with clothing designers and makers to get the design just right. And the result is something that's soft and cozy and feels great to wear. So the materials are really nice. It's also lightweight, 30% lighter than similar devices. And one other thing, to see comfortably, some people need some help. People like me. And so we made sure that the headset fits nicely over eyeglasses. So that's comfort. Next, let's talk about making it easy to use. Now, to start, it's got to be easy to get into VR. You don't want to think about cables and wires and lots of little clicky things and connectors that you have to get just right. All that stuff just kind of gets in the way. Really, you just want to pop your phone in and be in VR. And that's the way Daydream View works. You open the latch, you drop your phone in, you close the latch, and you're ready to go. That's it. The headset and phone say hello wirelessly, so there's nothing to connect. And the headset includes an auto alignment system that gets everything just right. So getting into VR is easy. We wanted interacting with VR to be easy too. And that's where the Daydream controller comes in. Now, the control is really important because when you go someplace, you want to be able to do things there. So let's have a look. It's really easy to use. At the top is a clickable touchpad, or a couple of buttons, but there's more to it than meets the eye. Hidden inside are a bunch of sensors that respond to how you move. So you can point, you can swing, you can aim. It's so precise that you can draw with it. You can write your name. So it's really powerful, and we'll have a look at some of the things you can do with it in just a second. Okay, now what do you do with a controller after you use it? You lose it. 
you lose it. You lose it in the couch or in the bottom of your bag. And we didn't want that to happen. So the controller has a home inside the headset. When you're done, it just kind of snuggles in there like this. And it's details like these that we worked hard to get right. These little things. <laughs> these little things. It's also, it's very well built. <laughs> these little things that make the whole experience easier and more seamless. So let's talk about the last problem, everything kind of being the same. We wanted you to be able to make it yours. And that starts with phones. So the Pixel phones are the first Daydream Ready phones, again. And the headset obviously works great with them. But there are a lot of other Daydream Ready phones on the way from our partners, too. And the headset will work with them as well. And one last thing, things we wear don't come in just one color. And we didn't see why a VR headset should either. So with Daydream View, you'll be able to choose your color. At launch, we'll have slate. And later this year, we'll add two other colors, snow and crimson. So that's Daydream View, a comfortable, easy to use VR headset that you can make your own. Now, of course, what really matters here is what you can do. And there's a lot to show you. And for that, I'd like to invite up Adrian McAllister, our director of partnerships. Adrian. Thanks, Clay. Hi, everyone. My name is Adrian, and I lead VR partnerships for Daydream. The team has been working closely with our partners to bring some incredibly immersive experiences to Daydream, and I'd like to share just a few of them with you today. With Daydream, you're going to be able to explore some really magical places. And what's more magical than the wizarding world of J.K. Rowling? I'm excited to announce that we've been working with Warner Brothers to bring an exclusive Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them experience to Daydream. Leave our side. They're literally most people's lifeline to the internet and to each other. So today, I'm very leave our side. They're literally most people's lifeline to the internet and to each other. In it, you're a other. wizard and the controller transforms so today, into a wand very that you can to use to levitate to objects a and cast spells. Made by Google. We're really stoked we about this, it, because don't we all just want to be wizards? <laughs> We're also really excited to bring some great educational experiences to Daydream. One out of this world example, we've been working with the makers of Star Trek, an app that lets you explore the solar system and learn all about the constellations. With Star Chart on Daydream, it's like having your own personal planetarium where you can fly through the stars and explore new galaxies. The stars are also an epic place for space battles, and Daydream is going to be a stellar place for games. We're excited about Gunjack 2 from CCP, the makers of so EVE. Today, in I'm it, very excited you're in to the cockpit of a spaceship where you're defending the fleet against alien ships. You can look all around and then use the controller to aim the ship's lasers anywhere you want to blast those alien ships. Back on Earth, for when you want to kick back on the couch and watch something, we've been working with the likes of Netflix, HBO, and Hulu to bring their entire entertainment libraries to Daydream. In VR, you can see it all on the big screen and bring that big screen with you wherever you go. When you want to turn your attention to current events, the New York Times has been doing important work in VR documentary and news. They've told us stories that put us alongside soldiers and refugees. In VR, you see the world from their perspective. It's powerful journalism brought into virtual reality. These are just a handful of the experiences that are going to be available. Over 50 Partners are bringing apps and games to Daydream before the end of the year, and there are hundreds more on the way. To complement our partners, we're also bringing the best of Google to Daydream. First, there's Google Play Movies, with their library of shows and films which you can watch on your own big screen. Then, there's Google Photos, where you can relive your personal memories in a completely immersive way. And then, there's Street View and YouTube. Let's take a look. With Street View and Daydream, 
You can visit thousands of places in 70 different countries, and we've built 150 curated tours of the world's most amazing places, so you can feel what it's like to tour the Taj Mahal. There are also some hidden gems in Street View. For instance, you can visit the Faroe Islands and see their beautiful rolling fields from the perspective of a sheep, or as our Faroe Island friends like to refer to it, sheep view. And finally, there's YouTube. YouTube on Daydream is amazing. To start, you can access the entire library of YouTube videos, regular videos, and watch them on a cinema-sized screen. Your favorites on YouTube have never looked better or bigger. But where the YouTube experience really shines is with 360 and VR videos, where you're not just watching a film, you're in the film. Here's one of my favorites from the London Museum of Natural History. You're standing in the hall of the museum, looking all around when all of a sudden, dinosaurs come back to life right in front of you. I don't think he's done yet. In virtual reality, he looks even hungrier. It's just one of the hundreds of thousands of immersive videos on YouTube. And we're working with YouTube's creators to bring even more original VR content in the months to come. So that's just a glimpse of what's coming to Daydream from our partners and from Google. With that, I'd like to turn it back to Clay. Thank you. So that's the update on Daydream. The first Daydream Ready phones with the Pixel, a headset that's really comfortable a controller that's powerful and easy to use, and so much to experience. Now, all of this will come together in November, when Daydream View and the controller go on sale together for $79. So there it is, our next step in making high-quality VR accessible to everyone. We're really excited about it.